Good afternoon. The next topic to address is the bracha of Bore Pri HaGafen. The Gemara in Brachos, Tafalam Heum and Aleph, says that on all peros ha'ilon, on all fruits that grow on a tree, we say a Bore Pri HaEitz, Chutz Minayayin, except for wine, upon which we recite a Bore Pri HaGafen. The Gemara in the next Amud wonders, why is wine different than all other fruit? Why does wine get its own bracha? And not only that, all other fruits, when they are squeezed, become a shahakal, become a lesser significant bracha. However, grapes, when they're squeezed into wine, actually get their own bracha. So the Gemara gives four, <coughs> three or four different answers, ultimately saying that one, it is nishtan iluya because whereas all other fruits that are squeezed, an apple, when it is squeezed, becomes less significant, it becomes less valuable when it is squeezed in the juice, because the apple itself is considered more chashav, more precious, more valuable than the juice itself. Whereas wine are they actually more significant than the proper form of a grape. And therefore it's fundamentally different and it changes to a more significant form and nishtan iluyan gets its own bracha. The other reasons given are that it either nourishes or sustains, not to go on the difference of those now, or it's because it is misameach, it gladdens one's heart. The, what, what is the primary factor then? That it seems to be the subject of machlokas between Rabbeinu Yonah and Rashi, whether it is because nishtan iluyan, the changed form is the primary factor, or these other factors of the nourishment and the mood that it impacts, uh, perhaps those are the primary factors. And that is a nafkamina, there's a machlok, there's a practical difference, because generally, though we try to be as specific as possible with the bracha, bidyevet, if one recites a more generic bracha, they are still fulfill their obligation. For example, if one says a hadoma on an apple, even though ideally one should say ha'etz because it is more significant, if one does recite a hadoma, that is still the Evid sufficient because it's true. The apple grows from the ground. And the question becomes, what happens if one recites a ha'etz on wine? Do they fulfill their obligation? So Reb Nissim Kaplan and his Sefer on Brachos says that it depends upon what we understand as the main reasoning for the changing of the bracha. If the bracha is changed and viewed as simply in the Shtan Iluya, it's a simple basic improvement upon the grape, so it's ultimately an improved, modified grape, then that would be ultimately still a form of a grape and a, the more generic brach of ha'etz would suffice. However, um, if we assume these other factors of being misameach ha'lev, if it glad, that gladdens the heart, it sustains, and that's not only a modified brach of ha'etz, but it's fundamentally a more significant different form of a bracha. And if one recited a ha'etz, then one would not fulfill their obligation. So ultimately the bracha on wine is a hagafen for the four reasons mentioned in the Gemara. What the primary reasoning is, is a matter of debate. And Rabbi Akiva Eger actually concludes that if one recites ha'etz on, ha, on a cup of wine, they would not uh, sat, satisfy their obligation with the Eved. Uh, but nonetheless, one should take caution to make sure to recite the proper bracha of Hagafen uh, because it is a more significant and perhaps even a fundamentally different bracha than we recite on grapes. Have a great night.